There is nothing in life that brings me more joy and satisfaction than recreating my own head in CGI. You'll want to grab a copy of Keen Tools Face Builder for Blender. I may even put a link in the description. You'll get a two week free trial and after that it's like $18 a month. So I suggest you just make as many heads as you can within those two weeks. So to make your head, you will need to get a bunch of photos of your head from different angles. For the front angled photo, it is important to stare directly into the camera lens. Once the photos have been taken and you've downloaded Keen Tools, you're gonna wanna open up Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, search for the zip file and then click Install. Remember to save your preferences. Hit A and then X to delete the default scene and now you're ready. Hit N to bring up the side panel and find the Face Builder tab. Import your photos. And now it's time for the actual fun part. Basically you'll want to click on each image and align the mesh to the shape of your head and it is extremely satisfying to do for some reason. I usually start with the nose, just clicking on it and moving it into position. Then I align the eyes to set the rotation and scale. Then I just go along and add more points to the mesh, pulling it onto my face. After you've got the first picture done and the mesh is nicely set to your face, you want to just click on the next picture and repeat the process. When you get to the back angles of your head, it becomes a bit of a guessing game, but as long as you still have some recognisable features to align, you should be good. Once it's all done, just exit the pin mode and have a look at this disturbing masterpiece which you've created. Now just click back on one of the photos, go to textures and create texture. It may take a little while to load. I've never looked better. As you can see, there are some empty parts underneath my chin and behind my ears. That's because I did not take photos from those angles. You can also see that the brightness on my neck varies, and that's because I took the photos on auto exposure. So it's important to shoot them on a manual exposure mode. I obviously knew this beforehand, I just wanted to show you what not to do. 